Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our uh, analog signal kind of discovery into feedback loops. We're doing some interesting things. In the last video we talked about how we could take a 100% signal and use this feedback loop system to subtract a certain amount each time. And what I've done here is set up a feedback loop so it's going to subtract say 4% each time I count down. And then when it gets to zero, it's going to stop. If you're curious more about how we did that, just check out the last video. What we're going to do here is we're going to extend this so that we could count down and count up and maybe count down in different increments. We'll see how much time we have. Okay? So the first thing that we have set up is our countdown amount here and we have that count down to 4%. Let's say I wanted to also set it up so I could count up. And I'm just going to use this grab thing on the right. This is going to be my count up stuff. And the way that I'm going to incorporate counting up into our feedback loop system is I'm going to take this signal, which again is our loop. This is how we store the value that we have in our system, our feedback loop system. I'm going to intercept this signal and potentially add more to it. Now we've talked about adders in a previous video, so I'm just going to quickly go through how we did that. And I'm going to do that by just making another microchip up here, just to keep things a little tidier. So I'm going to make it so when you grab, it's going to create a pulse, just like when we take away a signal, it's going to create a pulse for when we add a signal. So I'll just take this grab switch and wire it to our pulse. And then we're going to need a battery to decide how much it's going to pulse by. And when I say pulse by, I mean how much it's going to count up by. I'll just set it to 20% to start. We'll need an AND signal, or an AND gate. And then we're going to actually add our signals now. To do our adding our signal, it's a little complicated. Go back and check out my addition video. But what we do is we take this signal coming in from our feedback loop. We invert it, which basically means subtract it from 100. And then we perform a subtraction. So in this case, we subtract this pulse signal, this signal pulse that we're coming through. And then we're going to invert it again and this is going to perform our addition calculation. So basically we invert our signal coming through our feedback loop. We subtract how much we want to add to it. We do the opposite of what we would think. And then we're going to end up inverting it again. Now before we wire right up to that invert, I do want to use a direction splitter again because we could have a situation where let's say our feedback loop was already at 90% and we wanted to add 20% more to it, that would put it at 110%. Well, the way that these direction combiners and direction splitters work is that 110% signal would really be interpreted as a negative 10% signal. Or, excuse me, I think it would be interpreted as a 90% signal. It would be a 100 minus that extra 10, and it'd put it at 90. So instead of, instead of doing that, what I want to do is take the signal that's coming through here and only use the positive splitter output. So we're only looking at the positive and that's going to wire into our inversion, or, or excuse me, our not gate. That's going to invert it, complete our addition, and that's going to go into our loop. So it shouldn't change anything for the way that this feedback loop works for taking points away but as soon as I grab, it's going to add 20. So this here is our addition calculation. This here is deciding how much we're going to add up each time. And it's creating a pulse. Each time I grab it, pulses once. And yeah. So we can take away, it looks like I'm taking away 4% each time. And then every time I grab the right pad, it's going to add 20% more back on until it gets to 100% and then it's going to stop there. Now I mentioned, so here's our, this is our addition back into our loop here. So this is making it so we can add a certain percentage back in each time. 
I mentioned that we could, if we worked this out right, make it so different things took away different amounts. Well, I don't need this anymore. Let's just make a copy of the logic that we had made already for our how much we were taking away. In this case, it was 4%. And let's say I wanted something else to take away 6%. So let me just make another one of these. I'm going to put it on the top here. And this is going to be, if I grab the top one, it's going to take away 6%. So instead of using another grab switch that's already on the circuit board, I'll delete that and wire in from this switch right here. And I'll change its color so we can see which one it is. So that pink one is going into this pulse here and that's going to pulse at 6% instead of 4% like the normal one. And then the way that we choose which signal we're going to use through the the direction combiner is we just combine these two signals via an OR gate. Remember OR gate takes the biggest signal. If there's no signal coming through it just takes 0. And so now if I hit the 6% grab switch it's going to create a pulse It'll send 6% through here, and it will subtract 6% from our feedback loop. And the loop is a little harder to see there. If I flip it over, you can see there's our loop, and that's what stores our signal. So here, let's see if this works. So here we're subtracting 4%. If I jump and grab that one, now we're going to subtract 6%. And in fact, it does work. And then if I grab this one, it'll refill by 20%. So hooray, it's working. And you could create a system where you have many, many different percentage signals that you could take away, or many, many different things you could add. You could create more than one of these. You would just combine them with an, with an OR gate as well. And we have the workings of an almost instantaneous health system. Now, I haven't actually put this into use in anything yet because I've just sort of mastered the ideas behind it. But it's definitely super useful for something if you say had a health bar and you wanted 4% damage and then 6% damage and then 4% or that's another 6% and then 4% damage, 4% damage and then you pick up a health pack and it adds 20% back onto your health. Now I want to show you real quick another cool feedback loop that you can do so that you don't have to have these complicated display systems with numbers. You can actually display let me pull out a piece of something to put this on. You can actually take a signal and force it to be displayed in a timer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a timer out. And actually I'll put it on the circuit board. Take out a timer and put it on here. And set its time to 0.1%. Uh, so I'm just going to make it kind of big so we can see it. Set the time to 0.1%. And then we're going to take a direction combiner. And we're going to put that on here and wire up that into the timer's input. Now the signals that we're going to get from our directional combiner are going to be from our signal that we want to interpret. That's going to go in the positive. And the signal that and the timer's output is actually what we're going to put into the negative. And then we're going to tweak the timer so that it's set to speed scale. Now what that does is it takes that signal coming in and it says whatever that signal's at, let's say it's at 90%, if my timer was at say 0, and let me just pause it, if my timer was at 0, this timer would be all the way down at the bottom and so I'd have 90% signal coming in. Our timer would be outputting zero. And so that 90% signal would be telling the timer to count up. And then it'll count up for one frame. And in its new position, it'll perform another subtraction where it'll say, should I count up or should I count down? And generally, it's just going to, because we're at 0.1%, it's going to be just instantaneous how this happens. And or not 0.1%, we're at 0.1 seconds. It's going to be instantaneous almost how this counts up and it matches the signal that we've got on our 
uh, logic probe here. So let me just count this down and you'll see how this works. We're just using this timer to display the signal. This timer is not doing any calculations at all. It's just displaying the signal that we have in our feedback system. And then I can add 20%, take away 6, take away 4, 4, 4, 6, 6, add 20%, and it goes right back up. Now the nice thing about using a system like this as opposed to, say, a timer system or as opposed to, say, a counter system is that you can change how much your or you can change how much it's going up or down by depending on what your inputs are and it's pretty much instantaneous the the calculations here all happen in one simulation frame the timer here it takes 0.1 seconds which is three simulation frames but it still it looks quick enough and if you have any calculations going on behind the scenes depending on what your health is that's going to happen all in one simulation frame. So this right here is using feedback loops to create basically a smarter health system. Um, it's, it is a bit confusing, I do admit that, but hopefully the principles at work, uh, you're starting to get a grasp on those, and you're seeing some potential for using these feedback loops in your own levels. So yeah, that's feedback loops in a nutshell. Uh, I'm probably going to work with these more in the future, just because I do like them so much. Um, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope I didn't go way over your heads with this. I know it was a bit technical for LBP tutorials. Anyways, take care, and thanks for stopping by. See you later. The tutorials will unleash not only exciting tools and objects, but knowledge and the deepest secrets of the cosmos.